Yeah. yeah, yeah, I understand. I mean, it's interesting how puppetry or animation or other forms like that sort of add that element of distance that allows you some sort of a, you know, distance to think your own thoughts in a sense. Do you think that uh, that's also part of why you are interested and you like science fiction? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I never think of it as escapism. Um, I think of it, in, you know, as a kind of a visionary art form, really, or, or literary form. Um, it seems, it always sort of strikes me as bizarre that we're so obsessed with historical fiction. We're obsessed with crime fiction. These are the really popular genres. It's like, you know, we're obsessed with things that we can't change and, you know, sort of really the violent, the most violent shadow side of, of humanity. Whereas, you know, we we've got an opportunity with our with our imaginations to envision a better world and science fiction is the genre where we can really do that um because we can take ourselves you know ahead in time um we can see you know just in our own you know even in your short life how much change has gone on i mean in terms of veganism in terms of you know trans politics just over the last five years massive change has gone on um not to mention you know, obviously awareness of climate change um, so I think we have kind of a responsibility as writers. Um, yeah, I don't well, I don't want to be heavy handed about it because I think we, our ultimate responsibility is to ourselves. But for me, growing up in the household that I did, because my father's a social worker and very you know, socialist and very politically minded, um, you know, it, those things are fused in me to try and use art to um to demonstrate that it's not naive um it's not romantic to imagine that we can do better than we're doing right now as a species you know um yeah no i mean that's the hope right <laughs> you always mm -hmm. hope to start yeah. for better things but you know what yeah. when it comes to science fiction though i mean that too can be abused i uh for example see 1984 abused all the time it's it's significance and just kind of um it's used in ways to represent something that perhaps wasn't exactly what uh, Orwell was going for. That's the first example that comes to my head. Well, I recently reread that, and I think it's a tr oh god, it's just like such a tremendous novel, isn't it? And uh, and it, the, you know, just how prophetic it was. You know, the idea of the screens on the walls, and um, you know, being watched at all times, and um, and this was even really before television was really big, I suppose. So. Um, the way he saw things were going and this idea of this perpetual war. I mean, we're still not out of the perpetual war um, between East and West, are we? So I think, yeah, I, and I agree because I think there's there's two different kind of sides to the coin with, with science fiction. There's a side to science fiction that has very much been about, in a sense, um, celebrating colonialism, you know, like all the space operas where, you know, it's, it's all about it's all about exploiting um, the other um and then you also even even right now even with the feminist dystopias you know i worry about the feminist dystopias because yes they reflect anger that women have but you know how are we going to if we just flip if we just flip it round so that women have the power um and you know to to harm men you know how are we going to get how are we going to get out of the binary really so with my novels they're set in a the, the quartet anyway um i've written one other standalone that's a bit more maybe it is a bit more of a feminist dystopia but my more recent novels are set in a uh, post-fossil fuel world where they're trying to rebuild technologically and also politically there are new there are new um kind of forms of democracy um arising there's much more of a sense of local councils and the un has been reformed um but but this but people are still struggling with uh with conflicts of course um, but they're doing so within a different kind of political framework.